you see yourself raising capital at some point too, just to really scale? Yes, sir. That's been on my uh, to-do list for a <laughs> time now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, we're we're profitable, we're cash flow positive, but to do some of the things uh, and to hire the human resources that are necessary, I, I raise some money. And we've also introduced e com So we sell these curated boxes that are a selection of the items that we have in the store. And that's been great. But in order to operationalize uh, and scale that, I also need some cash. So yeah, stay tuned <laughs> or send Rex. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Fundraising is never easy, but it's uh, it's an obvious thing to do in terms of growth. It's just kind of, it's it's short-term pain is the way I've put it. It's like short-term pain for long-term gain. And so you just have to, like working out, like going to the gym isn't, I don't really enjoy it. I like playing tennis instead. However, when I'm at the gym, I'm always like, look, this is just short-term, you know, gain. This is good. It's like a candy bar. I think the most painful part for me is just uh, why I can't get started. I don't know. There's some sort of psychological block because I am a doer. It's probably imposter syndrome. Have you dealt with imposter syndrome? Yeah. It also just feels so like nebulous. So like, I don't know, I, I'm having a hard time sort of breaking it down into something that feels real. Yeah. It's imposter syndrome. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and label it for you. So what's, what's happening in imposter syndrome is basically you're in a room and you're kind of like, you're just overthinking everything. And so your monkey brain is just firing and nothing's happening. I've been in that room for three months at a time at some periods, like in, on different startups. And basically at some point you realize this, this weird thing where you in that room does nothing for the world or for you or for your employees or for anyone around you. And so really what you're really doing is selfish. Mm. And as soon as someone calls a human selfish, they don't want to, no one wants to be selfish. And so you're kind of like, oh, I got to get out of this room because the world needs me. And so it's this moment of like, that's, it took me three months to get there. So I just regurgitated it to you in about 10 seconds, but that's, that was my moment of like I'm being so selfish right now. And that was it. Yeah, cool. I like that point of view. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.